the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, I'm the Reverend Canon Lance Smith from Church of the Ascension in Windsor, and I am your weekly host for the program Reflection, a devotional and faith-based time in which we read God's holy word, we lift our hearts up in prayer, and this coming Sunday, the third Sunday after Pentecost, we also take an opportunity to reflect upon the thanksgiving for the role of fathers in our lives. This Sunday, of course, is Father's Day, and we will begin our time of reflection by thinking about the ways in which the special men in our lives can have a profound impact on who we are as we grow up. Through their strength and through their wisdom, they can lead and guide people in their families to a greater understanding of what it means to put others before self. We will also, of course, look at the appointed scripture lessons for the day. We will begin in the book of Genesis with the continuing story of Abraham and Sarah. This week, we will look at the dismissing of Hagar and her son Ishmael, a difficult passage for us to read with modern eyes. And yet when we delve into this passage, we will recognize that in spite of circumstances which can seem so profoundly unfair, God has a way of being able to take those circumstances and to weave them into a part of his plan for all people. And we'll see how he does that with Hagar and Ishmael in Sunday's reading from Genesis. We will continue looking at St. Paul's epistle to the Romans and look at the relationship that exists between sin and God's grace. And Paul specifically will be addressing how it is that we are to die to sin as Jesus died for the sake of our sins so that we, like Jesus, can be raised to a life which is focused upon God. Lastly, we will look at the gospel for the day. We will return to St. Matthew's gospel in the 10th chapter. And there Jesus will remind us that as the world sometimes rejected him, so too will they reject those who follow him. And yet in the midst of the difficulty that can exist, we are to remain fast to the truth. We are to hold our ground. We are to proclaim the good news of God in Christ. For as Jesus will tell us in that passage, there is nothing that is hidden that will not be revealed. And we look forward to revealing that truth on Sunday morning as we explore that passage. We will, of course, then lift up in prayer those who are in need of God's healing grace. We will pray for the peace of the world. I hope that you'll be able to join me this coming Sunday morning uh, for a time of faith, a time of devotion, a time of prayer. I hope to see you then. May God bless you. Mm -hmm.